security force. That Jamaican-led joint training exercise with CARICOM partners is supported by the Canadian government and includes the Jamaica Defence Force, the Jamaican Constabulary Force, the Belize Defence Force and the Royal Bahamas Defence Force. This Caribbean Joint Security Force will train, plan and construct a wide range of scenario-driven security-based activities. It's a culmination of an eight-month-long of parallel training and coordination. The Bahamas government has committed to send a delegation to assist in stabilizing Haiti, which is undergoing unrest and turmoil. This week, Haiti's Transitional Presidential Council has pledged to restore public and democratic order in the troubled island nation. The Government of Jamaica, in partnership with the Canadian government, is hosting the joint contingency training exercise that commenced from March 28th and will run until April 26. In other news, hotels on New Providence reporting a healthy numbers for Easter, this despite advisories cautioning visitors to be on high alert when traveling to the Bahamas due to crime levels. Executive Vice President of Administration and Strategic Initiatives at Atlantis, Vaughn Roberts, says even though the resort has seen a slight dip early on in the first quarter, he anticipates their Easter occupancy numbers will far exceed last year's figures. We're actually sold out now through early April, so the Easter weekend, we're so completely sold out at all our properties. So very strong Easter week. We're in the midst of a very strong spring break season. And uh, January and February were also very strong for us. So Q1 is looking very good. We're going to meet our budget. And then uh, the second quarter is looking good as well. So excited, excited about the business so far. With an enhanced financial budget, Robert says there's quite a number of contributing factors he feels are driving up the resort's occupancy numbers. I think the, um, you know, our proximity to the U.S. and um, the airlift has been stronger this year in terms of the rebound of airlift. And, you know, we have a lot of marketing going on by the promotion boards, the two big resorts, and also the Ministry of Tourism. So I think there's just uh, a strong demand for the destination, also driven by the cruise volume that's coming in, because people coming on cruise ships, guests coming on cruise ships, obviously share their stories of visiting the Bahamas, and then that causes somebody to come and book to stay over. So very exciting. As an archipelagic nation with 29 ports of entry, Acting Comptroller of Customs Ralph Monroe says the Bahamas faces an enormous challenge manning its borders and keeping out illicit substances such as drugs and firearms. He adds that Customs has a small staff in the family islands when most substances are headed for the capital. And while working with limitations in some cases, the department is able to be effective. What we base most of what we've been able to do as success is on intelligence. Um, we get intelligence from our law enforcement counterparts as well as we gather our own. And you must know your area. You must know who is in the environment and why they're there. And of course, in recent time, we've been able to have seizure in two of our family islands. In New Providence, at our air cargo section, at our GFT section, and at FBOs, as well as the main international airport, we've been successful due to the vigilance of the officers. Omanor well, hopes to build on its success. We also, as we speak, um, in negotiation and have actually gone into some contractual arrangement with a major international company to provide scanner services. And so you're going to see some step up in that area at the main Awaki and of course at some of the areas at the airport and at GFP in the not too distant future. And so hopefully um, we should see even greater success. But I am satisfied that the officers are doing a very good job with the limited resources that they have. And of course, we also depend on the public to assist us with information. Also to come, police encouraging beachgoers to be extra vigilant this holiday weekend. You're watching The Bahamas Tonight, the weekend edition. More news in a moment.
tune in to the 5th Annual Elevation Awards, Saturday, April 6th at 6 p.m. Live on the ZNS TV network from Sandals Royal Bahamian in beautiful Nassau, Bahamas. With live performances by Nishi LS, Julian Believe, Wendy242, Sammy Starr, Patrice Morel, Shine Bahamas, Ilsha, Fan Sean, Judah the Lion, Carrington McKenzie, Alia Coley, Osley and Jadort, Sherwin Gardner, Colin Christopher, Davy and Chase, and many more. Hosted by Sherelle Roxy Star Duncan. That's the 5th Annual Elevation Awards, April 6th, live on the ZNS TV network from Sandals Royal Bahamian. Join me, Sherelle Roxy Star Duncan, as I host this year's Elevation Awards. Because I support the culture, and you should too. Catch the 5th Annual Elevation Awards, Saturday, April 6th at 6 p.m., only on ZNS TV 13. Since 1974, the National Insurance Board has been an income replacement safety net. But to ensure our future remains secure, starting July 1st, 2024, contribution rates will increase and will continue to be shared by employers and employees. We will be sharing more information in the upcoming months. But for now, get more details on nibrateincrease.com. Invest in tomorrow today with NIB. Because together, we can ensure our financial future. This portion of the news is brought to you by Full Call Smart Pass, the smart way to pay at the pump. Thanks for staying with us. Take a look at your television screen. Police, police rather need your help tonight in locating 34-year-old Deborah Sanders of Kennedy Subdivision, who has been reported missing. She was last seen at a residence on Tuesday. She's of a medium brown complexion with a slim build and stands between 5 feet 3 and 5 feet 5 inches tall. Anyone with information on the whereabouts of Deborah Sanders should contact police at 919 911, the Criminal Investigation Department at 502-9975 or Crime Stoppers at 328 TIPS. Well, police also encouraging beach and water safety for residents as thousands are expected to take to the waters this holiday weekend. Inspector Desiree Ferguson of the Public Affairs and Police Communications shares why this is important. Persons who may be visiting the beach or plan to visit the beach, we're encouraging them to ensure that they check the weather forecast to ensure that they don't be caught in any bad weather, rip currents, rip tides. We want to ensure that if they're carrying little ones and their children to the beach, that they have proper supervision. Um, we also want to encourage persons to swim within the designated areas that are assigned in the beaching areas to ensure that no incidents occur also to not to not swim alone particularly for our jet ski operators we want to encourage them to try to operate the jet ski not in the vicinities of persons swimming to avoid incidents again boaters who may be in the waters again to be very vigilant while on the waters so that we avoid incidents of boating accidents and boating collisions she says a body system to assist if someone goes into distress is ideal but she offered these other tips as well we know that the weather typically is usually hot, that coupled with salt water can cause one to easily become dehydrated. And so we want to encourage persons to fully hydrate themselves. If you're going to eat, ensure that you take sufficient rest periods before re-entering the water. Particularly for the little ones, we want to encourage safe, uh, floating devices, the proper devices so that they're able to swim properly in the water. And again, we want to ensure that persons avoid swimming away from the shorelines, not too far away from the shorelines. Overall, we want to encourage safety while they are out there in the waters. You're watching The Bahamas tonight, the weekend edition. More from sports when we return. Stay with us.
the Yellow Elder Garden, Ali and her cousins listen to Grammy share tales. The 70s so sweet, with themed costumes and dancing feet. Then came the brass, reaching new heights. A symphony of Bahamian nights. The 2000s, the Yellow Elder, a symbol of pride. Grammy's legacy in view as Ali dances in her Yellow Elder costume. We are alive. Tune into the 5th Annual Elevation Awards, Saturday, April 6th at 6 p.m., live on the ZNS TV network from Sandals Royal Bahamian in beautiful Nassau, Bahamas, with live performances by Michelle S., Julian Believe, Wendy242, Sammy Starr, Patrice Morel, Shine Bahamas, Ilsha, Fan Sean, Judah the Lion, Carrington McKenzie, Alia Coley, Osley and Jadort, Sherwin Gardner, Colin Christopher, Davian Chase, and many more. Hosted by Sherelle Roxy Star Duncombe. That's the 5th Annual Elevation Awards, April 6th, live on the ZNS TV network from Sandals Royal Bahamian. Join me, Sherelle Roxy Star Duncombe, as I host this year's Elevation Awards. Because I support the culture, and you should too. Catch the 5th Annual Elevation Awards, Saturday, April 6th at 6 p.m., only on ZNS TV 13. ESE Distributors, the number one wholesale beauty supplier in the Bahamas. Specializing in hair products, accessories, and makeup. A variety of skin lightening products. Keratone, Natural Bright, Pawpaw, and personal toiletries. Like soaps, creams, lotion, and oils. Hair products, like Got To Be, Red One, and everything in the Morphos line. And lots of hair. Afro Kinky, 3X Ghana, Crochet Hair. We deliver and ship to the family islands. ESE Distributors, located on Soldier Road, opposite NCA. Everyone hates a dead car battery. Why not get a battery that lasts and has a 12-month warranty and is only $64.50? Intercontinental batteries are made with German technology, compatible with Japanese, U.S., and European vehicles, and adapts to warm climate. All right, good to go. These batteries are high-quality, affordable, innovative, and only available at AID. Visit us online or WhatsApp us at 427-0026. AID. All you really need and more. Here at Immigration Care Service, you can trust us, especially if you have experienced issues or problems with the U.S. immigration at the borders. We'll do our best to provide options and solutions to immigration roadblocks so travelers can continue visiting the U.S. and residents can continue living their lives in the U.S. without worries. The best part? Our services are affordable and accessible. Take the mystery, confusion, and fear out of your immigration concerns. Contact Immigration Care Service today. Introducing the Focal Smart Pass app that helps you to fuel up faster. Here's how it works. Download the app on the App Store or get it on Google Play and create your profile with payment details. Visit your nearest Shell station, open the app, scan the pump's QR code, select your payment amount, and begin fueling. Say goodbye to cash and cards because the Focal Smart Pass offers secure and convenient payment options right at your fingertips. Download Focal Smart Pass now and fuel up faster today. This is ZNS Total Sports. Good evening, all. I'm Marcellus Hall. This is your ZNS Total Sports Check here on a beautiful Saturday afternoon, day one of the Carifta Swim Championships getting underway today as Team Bahamas taking to the waters. So far, so good for our team and Shane Stubbs, poolside, giving us the, all the information. Team Bahamas setting the tone on day one of competition for the 37th annual Carifta Aquatics Championships at the Betty Kelly Kenning Aquatic Center as they aim to jumpstart their push to a sixth straight title. Leela Lewis finished first in her heat of the 13-14 girls 800 meter freestyle. Well, I feel really exhausted but I feel really happy that I was able to get a first place so for the Bahamas. I feel very nervous because those girls can be much faster, but then I could also be seated on top three. Co-team captain Renishka Gibbs finished in the final two of the girls' 15-17 200-meter breaststroke, clocking two minutes and 52.70 seconds. So far, everybody's been swimming really good. Um, great way to start the morning off, get, get, get them motivated, give them a lot of energy to get ready and 
come back tonight and swim extremely fast. Earl Farrington also put on a show in the boys, 13, 14, 1500 meters, clocking a time of 18 minutes and 19.59 seconds. It's a time final, so he'll be waiting to hear where he finishes in the standings. I feel good about what I put down. You know, the 1500 are a long race, so it's, it's a tough race to get through, but you really have, once you pace yourself, you know, you'll be okay. The same goes for Tristan Ferguson, who clocked a time of 18 minutes and 2.41 seconds in the boys' 15-17, 1500-meter race. There's a lot of pressure, but everybody's up and ready to swim. At the yesterday opening ceremony, John Canoe, everything, everybody's ready to go. Heading into the finals, I'm feeling ready, prepared, a bit nervous. On first year, Carifta team member Sean Norville Smith is through to his final. He finished first in the heat of the 11-12 boys 50-meter backstroke in the time of 33.17 seconds. I feel really good because I've never done this before. And yeah, I was swimming a long time trying to make this happen. It feels really good because I know I can try to get a medal this year. And there's a lot of enthusiasm amongst Team Bahamas, and team manager Karen Pinder Johnson is excited about Team Bahamas' performance so far. We have a lot of our swimmers who've made finals, so we're looking to have a really, really good night. They're very, very fired up. They're cheering for each other as they're swimming. I think, I think Team Bahamas is in a good space right now. And now the stage is set as Team Bahamas hopes to add a few medals at the end of tonight's session. Presenting as Total Sports, I'm Shane Stubbs. All right, thanks a lot, Shane. We're shifting our attention now to what's going on over in Grenada as the Crypto Track and Field Championships also got underway with day one of activities there. Amajal Knowles has the latest details. Well, after much anticipation and build up, the 51st edition of the Griffith Track and Field Games officially getting underway Saturday morning at the Karani James National Stadium. Team Bahamas already picking up some medals and looking pretty impressive on the track. But before then, last night, the team meeting with the nation's chief prime minister, Donald Philip Davis, who gave the athletes this pep talk. But each of you represents the greatest nation on the planet Earth. And when you go out there, as I said, to run, jump, or throw, you must understand that you are better than the rest. Now, every now and then, you may not get that goal. You may not reach the sky. But your effort and determination that you put out will be the goal that you have. You give your best at all times. Stay focused, stay determined. And every time you get on track, Every time you get on that field to throw or jump, you just remember that you're an ambassador for our little Bahamas. The team Bahamas already adding to their medal count early on day one as Terrell McCoy, she would win a bronze in the girls under 20 shot put and over in the girls under 17 high jump. The silver would go to Alexandria Komalafi with a personal best jump of 1.71 meters. I'm very happy. I just want to thank God that I wouldn't be here without him. I wouldn't be able to even jump that height. I'm very happy that I got over 171. That was a personal best. And I'm just really excited to represent my country. Now back to the track team, Hamas looking impressive in the heat of the 400 meters. First up in the girls under 17, 400 meters, Kezra Thomas would win her race in 53.76 seconds. We're in the boys under 17 and under 20, 400 meter heats. Fishing second in his heat would be Egan Neely in 49.27. And in his heat, Zion Shepard would run a time of 48.66 to finish second. Now, of course, later this evening is the opening ceremony as well as the finals of the 400 meters as well as the opening heats of the boys and girls 100. Now stay tuned into ZNS Network and ZNS Total Sports team as we continue to keep you updated here from St. George's Grenada. From the camera, Ashley Taylor and Mama Jal Knowles, ZNS Total Sports. And back here closer to home shores, in fact, on home shores, Abaco has been playing host to the uh, Boodle softball tournament. That Abaco tournament now into its second day of competition. Guess who's there? Jay Philippe. He brings us all the details on how things are going, though, so far. Day two of the Nigel Buddha Senior Softball Tournament here in Murphytown, Abaco. It was a whole lot of action. Five games on schedule. The first game saw Long Island getting the W against Abaco 9-2. We just got to keep in it, keep our heads up. And, you know, we struggled a little bit with pitching, but I just hope that we could bring that around so that we could get more outs and in. Now in game two, Team Grandmama got the win against Long Island 11-1, led by Sheldon Pinder on the mound. I know these boys quite well, and I... 
put in some time, and I just know what they don't like, and I just went with it. You know, the rice ball was was on paw, and yeah, they just couldn't touch the rice ball, and I was just blowing them down with that. The two Providence teams, Chances Mighty Mitts and Cybertech Marlins, went head to head, but it was the defending champion, Cybertech, winning this one 8 0. Like the aggression, we had, we had some spots where we didn't capitalize. Myself, um, I'd say I was 65, 70 percent of my 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 top out, or my my potential. Despite um, the loss, uh, we had more hits than the opposing team. Uh, we had a few little control problems. Uh, the pitcher was a little off his game. Team Grand Bahama then got the win against the Mighty Mitts in a close one 5-4 with Sheldon again pitching on the mound. And the Marlins handed Team Abaco another loss 13-2 to end the night. Games will continue to play through the weekend with championship games on Sunday night. Reporting from Marsh Harbor Abaco, I'm Jay Philippe, ZNS Total Sports. And last but not least, shifting over to Cat Island, where Cat Island's fishing and sailing tournament is deep into its final couple of days now. Desmond Saunders has been keeping us up to speed and does so once again. Choppy Seas putting somewhat of a damper on action here at the 6th Annual Cat Island Fishing Tournament here in Smith's Bay, Cat Island. But fishermen did not let that hinder their performance on the high seas. It was very challenging today. As you know, the weather, um, the winds were pretty high today and the waves were up to like eight feet. So that's one of the reasons why we decided to come in kind of early. We came in like two o'clock instead of four o'clock. But um, it was very challenging out there, but we still did a good catch. We know it's, uh, everybody have to be in the same conditions. It's, it's a sport, so... We went out and made the best of the day. It was a challenge today. We couldn't go on the man drops that we wanted to go on. We had to keep it in shallow. So we worked with what we could have worked with today, due to the weather. Um, today, we just made a challenge on the boat. You know, every show we stopped to, each, uh, each fisherman, you know, we tried to catch at least five fish per person at each show. So that was our strategy today. The weather wasn't there. But we give it our best shot. We can't, we can't complain. We did well. Today was a rough day. Breeze was very strong. We had some boat issues, but we, we did okay. It's more competition, better competition. I like it. Tomorrow, we look forward for tomorrow. Well, at the end of the day, top contender Kendrick Seymour getting 116 points. An eight-pound turbot, his biggest weigh-in. The neighborhood with 109 points, a three and a half strawberry grouper was his biggest way in, the rectifier, the healer, and the Brody B also participating in this year's tournament. That's going to do it from Smith's Bay at Island, Desmond Saunders, ZNS Total Sports. And that's it to check on sports for you here on this Saturday. Of course, we are just ahead with our weather. Stay with us. This is ZNS Total Sports. For more than 30 years, the Bahamas Bridal Show has prepared thousands of brides and grooms for the walk down the aisles. On Sunday, April 7th, that tradition continues when the Grand Ballroom at Bahama is transformed into the ultimate wedding experience. Featuring a fashion show by Buttons Bridal and Formal Wear, $30,000 in prizes, savings on wedding expenses, and the most wonderful displays you'll ever see. Tickets, $60. Call 327-8896 or visit bahamasevents.net for details. You watch them grow and make plans for them even before they're old enough to talk. You spend a lifetime of sacrifice to pave the way for their success and create a tomorrow you too can be proud of. Can you tell who is the investor? Adlen. We believe everyone who has ever put a penny aside for a future dream is an investor. If you're new to investing, let us financial experts stand ready to design plans based on your goals. Let's sit down and explore the options one-on-one -on -one and see how, together, we can make your dreams come true. Whether considering traditional investments like a new home, car, your own business, security and retirement, or your child's college fund, 
We take the confusion out of the process and make an investor out of you. Call 396-3225 for an appointment. Leno, your bridge to the future. Have you ever purchased a defective item and was denied an exchange or cash refund? Contact the Consumer Protection Commission at 393-779-538 or our 24-hour complaints hotline at 357-7898 and let us help your voice be heard. Hey! Get up, stand up. Stand up for your life. It's time now for a check on tonight's weather forecast. Chief Meteorologist Basil Dean joins us in studio with the latest temperatures. Good evening, Basil. Uh, good evening, uh, Jiminita. We have near clear skies this evening. Temperatures 74 degrees. Relative humidity very dry at 48%. We have east and northeast winds at 8 miles per hour. The barometric pressure 1,021.1 millibars. That is 30.15 inches. And your temperatures around the family violence this evening. Rather homogeneous temperatures in the extreme northwest with 72 degrees in Freeport, Grand Bahama, Green Tool Key, and in Marsh, Barbaco, the Berry Islands at 73. Alassane Bimini, 71, 73 in Harbor Island. Rock Sunny Lutra at 72 degrees, 73 here in Fresh Creek Central Andros. 73 is also in Kemp's Base Out Andros and Black Point. Exuma Otterstein, Canalan, San Salvador, and Room Key, 72. George San Exuma, 73 degrees. We're picking up 76 in Ragged Island, Cloud Sound Long Island, and Acklands, Matthew Tiny Nagua at uh, 77 degrees. Acklands, 77, also 77 in the Turks and Caicos Islands. Your boating forecast tonight in the northwest and central islands, easterly winds. 10 to 15 knots wave heights, 2 to 4 feet, but there'll be some moderate swells uh, from the north. High tide takes place at 17 minutes past midnight. In the south, east bombs tonight, winds also out of the east, a little stronger, 15 to 20 knots, wave heights 4 to 7 feet, so we're keeping caution flying in place for the southeast bombs tonight. And then tomorrow in the northwest and central islands, the winds east to southeast once again at 10 to 15 knots, the wave heights 2 to 4 feet. Low tide tomorrow morning at 6.50 with a high tide taking place at 12.33 in the afternoon for the southeast bombs on Sunday. No change here, the winds east at 15 to 20 knots and the wave heights 4 to 7 feet. And a uh, satellite picture, while well, it's showing a little bit of cloudiness uh, being advected into extreme northwestern parts of the country. So Bimini, Grand Bahama, and perhaps northern Abaco will get some clouds and maybe a passage shower tonight. Elsewhere throughout the country, it's going to be near clear skies. Tonight, partly cloudy conditions, 68 degrees for your low temperature. That's here in the capital. And tomorrow, uh, we are looking at a delightful day with periods of clouds and sunshine, 77 degrees for your high temperature and extended weather forecast. The beautiful weather will be with us right through Wednesday. But come Thursday, we have a frontal system moving into the area that will increase the cloud. There's also the chance of showers taking place on Thursday as that frontal boundary goes through. But once it uh, passes, we expect those temperatures once again to sink back into the 60s. Jiminita. Thanks, Basil. Shawnee Miller Weibo, the two time Olympic champion, mother, and practicing philanthropist, is back home. Today, through the Shawnee Miller Weibo Care Foundation, she is giving back this time to the Children's Emergency Hostel. Miller Weibo says such donations are important for these reasons. I've always had a passion of giving back to the kids. Um, I've always wanted to do it since I was a kid, and just to be able to provide uh, any which way that I can. I, I always have joy in that. And so today I decided to come out and uh, donate two TVs, uh, PS5s and some games for the kids. I just believe that, you know, we have kids who do well in school, you know, they're working hard and everything else. And sometimes you just need some time to relax and just bond with the other kids. And I feel like the perfect time to do that is playing games. And Business manager of the Children's Emergency Hostel, Charlene Gibson, says they rely heavily on corporate entities for assistance. We know that persons are hearing the call and they see the need and they're stepping up to the plate and they're giving back and doing something um, out of the depth of their heart. We want to say thank you. We appreciate this gesture and we hope and we pray that some other person seeing you do this will be touched to come and do the same thing for us. Well, before we end the Bahamas tonight, we want to say happy birthday to four of our colleagues here at the Broadcasting Corporation. Happy birthday to Andrea Genoa, Agatha Christie, Siobhan Davis, and happy belated birthday to our Natasha Adderley, who celebrated on Good Friday. 
And that will end the Bahamas Tonight, the weekend edition. We thank you for continuing to make ZNS your number one news and information network as only the sun covers the Bahamas better than ZNS. On behalf of the entire team, thanks for watching and good night.